is the sound of dueling butchering? <laughs> Grandma and Michael are chopping up some boomalopes. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld after our great bug infestation and, and extermination. We've got lots of repairs going on around here, especially the jail. Boy, they just beat up everything here in the jail. I think they were beating up things like the, uh, the marble tile flooring. So there was lots to pound on, although they did take out these two uh, wall spaces right here. Kind of roamed through here and repaired and put back in blueprints for everything that I could see that was damaged. The table that the one just you know, tore up right there and and then uh, got everybody kind of reset in their order. Set a couple of them to cleaning. I'm thinking Alicia is going to go to cleaning for a little while. Right there. Get that last make sure yeah she actually did it this right here is a path I talked about uh, during that last raid it'd be nice to be able to get back into the into the safety of the colony solar flare no, no more raids or anything for a while okay solar flare without having to go through the gauntlet which means you know if the gauntlet is full then we can't go through and we're kind of stuck out here so I want to structure and it's gonna have to be auto doors here we need to be able to make this run quickly so, I'd say right there, and three, maybe enough to act as a deterrent and still cause them to be willing to run the gauntlet. We'll have to see about that. We may have to put a fourth one in, I don't know. But this isn't something we'll be using very often. It's just something that uh, is available should it be needed, but it's much easier to go through the gauntlet. Anyway, um, solar flare. Oh, okay. All the electrical devices are gonna die on us. Ah, ship passing about a day. Okay. There's the end of the refrigerator. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've set the kibble to only uh, accept bug meat now. So get, we'll do a bunch of bug butchering and and uh, use up the bug meat that way. Yeah, we're going to. Well, we're gonna drop to to fifty plus whatever the outdoor heat wave, which is still going on, right? Yep, still there. Been going for one day and 13 hours, and it is 109 outside. Fridge is still, well, 53 now and going up. 54. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to warm up here real quick. These spoil in three days. These spoil in three days. The meat spoils in one day. We'll just keep it going. Luckily, this is a wood-fired stove. So, Shanti, you can keep turning these into meals so they can spoil right afterward. <laughs> um, yeah, you're fine. So, fuel in here, 16 out of 50. Grandma, well, may as well do Shantigo because no matter who I set to fuel it, Shantigo cannot then use it to cook. So, when you're done with that particular meal, go ahead and equip this so we can get this going the rest of the day. All right. Otherwise, Hunter lacks weapon. Okay. Who? Hunter. It is Shantigo. What? Oh, not equip it. Um, okay, my bad. Let's try that all over again. Shantigo, you're going to equip your, your pistol instead. And you're going to refuel the wood stove. Okay, that makes so much more sense. And then what? You're going to bed? Then you're going to bed. Um... Okay, I guess so. Yep, their their schedules are all going to be messed up. That means he'll be starting at you know two in the morning, get back to making meals when it's nice and cool out. That may be that may be better. Yeah, but yeah, we're only going to be able to maintain you know 50 degrees at best. We're 60 about 60 degrees now in there. Okay, Eric is over here waiting to be worked on. Did he get worked on? Health? He did. All right. And I went ahead and left him on blue medicine. Some of the scratches, a little concerned about uh, Sienna's pregnant, about um, uh, infection. So went ahead and used the better stuff. Dogs are carrying in all the uh, all the bugs. It's dark down here. Miss P, you are digging at gravel. Good, you're gonna pop that open. Maggie is just down here wandering around. And this is the middle one. Tap through to see if there is anything down here. So far, there's nothing. Otherwise, we need to get into here. Um, Mr. P, we have a tremendous amount of rebuilding to do. So, tell you what, go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and do those. I'll come back to you. I want to get you back over to these kind of areas. Uh, those are real. 
don't know if those are. That's all. Yeah. Um. So who? Boy, this place is kind of uh, uh, kind of grumpy looking in the dark, huh? Grandma is in need of something. Beauty. In need of beauty. How do we get you to go get some beauty? Hmm. Don't really know how to do that. Now think about that. Everything is dark. Your bedroom is where? You're kind of up in here, right? Right there. So beauty in here. We do have a statue left. So when you go to bed, well, you'll be just neutral. Hmm. So that's right. I gotta do this. Get rid of that. Grandma, what do we do with you? Needs. We could. These sculpting benches don't require electricity, right? Right there. Nope, I don't believe so. So I could just have you go and work on one of these. I guess so. Uh, you're making kibble right now. With you brought the milk out there in the heat, too. When you're done making the kibble, let's get you over and see if this will do you any good. You can work on that one. And needs... Your rest is fine for a while. I just got to remember that I locked you into a prioritized, and that might mess you up pretty good. But go ahead and finish this in here. Probably hot. Hideous environment is, is the worst right there. Okay. Anyway, um, Sea Stars is sleeping. David's sleeping. Eric is resting in here. Really ugly environment in here because of one little poof of dirt? Hmm. Alicia. You are cleaning dirt. Can you... Let's see, how's your mood? You're not too bad. Really, I wanted all of this stuff cleaned up down in here. Can you come over here and, and clean up... Um, nothing? Boy, where the battle was, I thought there'd be blood and... I guess somebody else was set to cleaning. Oh, Tomislav was set to cleaning. So he must have already attacked this area. Come on down and clean up in here. That'll help out a lot. In fact, tell you what, clean up right here at the butcher table. That will help Michael and, and Grandma through there. Okay. A caravan request. What are you? A nearby settlement? Toxkaba. <laughs> Contacts you with a special trade request. They would like to purchase a scyther blade. Well, we have one. In return, they offer an orbital power beam target. Orbital power beam target. Targeter. This request expires after 15 days. If you want to make the trade, send a caravan with a with the request supplies. You can review this offer by selecting Taxkaba on the world map. How far away are you? Jump to location. Hmm. We just got done with a major event. Maybe the game will leave us alone for a few days. I don't know. Is this the time to try? to venture out into the world and you're not that far away interesting hmm okay well out of curiosity how far away is this it is 3.5 days that sounds pretty easy i've not actually studied to figure out how to do this yet so if i click you planet terrain okay um Solar Flare. Okay, so if I do this and this, that doesn't open up any special kind of box for me. No, it does not. Okay. So how do we go about this? Let's clear that. Uh, clear that. Okay. So you click you again. I'm not getting any special assign. Hmm. Let's stare at this a while. So for someone who's never done it before, how do we create a caravan? I thought it was there. That's looking kind of familiar. Form a caravan. Okay. Well, let's just spend some time to think about this. I may not actually get this done this episode. In fact, I think this is my last episode before I get back, back from my trip. I don't think I'm going to have time to create one more. And this will give you guys a good chance to pop in all kinds of input and, and uh, ideas for me. But let's just kind of work my way through this right now. Let's assume that we're taking all four of these guys. Apparently it's okay. Um, this is the weight they can carry. Is that what this column is? There's no title on that column, but I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay. So we could even take 
you know, all the alpacas if we wanted to do some other trading. The question is, do we get to do any other trading? Or is this just for the one thing? Is there uh, any multiple purposes out of this trip? Or are they specifically just wanting... Items. Okay. Scyther blades. So you're down here in weapons, I'm assuming. I'm looking for a box. At least it's stored as a box. I'm not looking for a box. Okay. I'm not looking alphabetical. This could be quite the search. Um, config. Items. A scyther blade. There you are. So it mentioned one. So I'm hoping they just wanted one. I wish I could sell them more, but I think it's kind of a trade. And I don't know what that other item is. It'll be interesting to see what that does. So, we don't have any food to bring with us, though. That's a problem. We really don't have any. And we're really kind of hurting now for the ability to make the food. Oh, there is that to think about. I mean, yeah, pemmican travels well, but I've only got 10 meals. So if I... Hmm, if we bring all the hay and... Hmm... Even then, it's summertime. I wonder if, if these guys can, well, if, if the animals can just graze. I don't know. So many questions, so many questions. Um, oh, I see your muffalo calf. Okay. Otherwise, who would we bring with us? Hmm, I was going to say Klaus for his shooting ability, but... I want to also be able to um, uh, recruit purple in the meantime, if that was possible. And yeah, lots of questions. If I were to set this all up right now and hit accept, would they suddenly be on their way with no time to make sure that Klaus actually had an assault rifle on him? You know, those kind of things. How much time after we've set this whole thing up, I know I then need to set up a caravan, um, re, you know, spot to, to, to load up everything, a loading spot. And then they're going to start carrying everything over to the animals. So that tells me there's still time to do those sort of things. So this would be fun to have spent some time just creating one on my own before I went to record it. Then it would actually appear like I have a clue what I'm doing <laughs> but i would make the guess let's, let's set up a caravan and we'll just kind of see how you know how the whole setup looks like and then you guys can let me know what you think about uh, if there's a better way to have done it or not so um natalia boy i would i think i'd want a doctor with me that would make sense do i want the doctor with me or do i want a, i'm looking at a day schedule and night schedule too so I'm kind of thinking that I would want Tomasov with me so he's on the same sleep schedule as the rest of them. But even then, I wouldn't want this thing to even get going until they've all had a good night's rest, which tells me I'm not going to hit accept on this one. But let's go ahead and set this up as if we had. So shooting skill of 14, shooting skill of 10. So I'd want probably three that can go with me that have got three assault rifles. That's a thought there. Whether that would be rabbit or not, I don't think so. I think I'd leave Rabbit behind. He's got a shooting skill of 13, so he's the second best. He'd be left behind to help defend the colony and to continue growing. So I'd get as much replanting done and keep that going while we're we've got basically till the middle of you gonna pop? You're not. Jugus is summer. I'm pretty sure. So September I think is autumn. We have to the center of uh, middle of, uh, of uh, autumn. So we still have 15 days of growing left. So that is roughly three cycles of harvest. Okay, so that's enough to get our new freezer filled before the end of the season. I'm hoping. Um, so I would say Klaus and Tomislav. And whom? Don't need Sangria as far as a handler for the animals. I don't think there's an issue there. Um, so let's just walk through this. Cathra. I know I would want... Probably another 10 shooting skill. Shantigo needs to stay and make meals. So that's Handy. That's Michael. And that is it. I can't think of a reason to bring a melee on this one. So we're probably looking at Michael on that one. 
So we're looking at these three. So zero days worth of food rot in 3.8 days. That doesn't help me much right now. Okay, so as far as bringing materials, as far as I know, I'd only need the scyther blade. So I don't, I don't need all of the muffalo, that's for sure. In fact, I can probably take that down to one um, right over here, which means I would need all of the hay. Okay, so we'd only need one muffalo. Uh, no description on age or anything like that. So one muffalo can handle 73 kilograms. Um, right now we're hauling 38 kilograms. Uh, we don't know what we're bringing back though, or how heavy it is. Plus we're looking at meals. Let's say one alpaca can go with this. Um, run speeds, 3.8 versus a muffalo, 3.6. So both of them are slower than us. Okay. So if we were to do this, we're now capable of carrying 200 kilograms back. Okay. If we were to, hmm, so nothing else there to bring and no more people to bring items. Let's think about things. I'd say we want to bring some medicine with us. So we'll bring 10 of those and 10 of these. That still plenty of room, plenty of capacity, and, and more likely more than we need anyway. But we'll go ahead and set it up that way. Um, I didn't get Glitter World, so I didn't hit the wrong column. Okay. Um, anything else to bring? Go back to the meals. Let's say we're bringing all of the hay. Still no problem on weight. Okay. Kibble? Shouldn't be necessary. I'm assuming that... Now, what's the yellow here? Number of days until this item starts to rot. Okay. No problem there. So the meals are a problem. How are we going to get back food-wise? And that's where the kibble or the, the uh, pemmican is an issue. That's where pemmican needs to be made to do this. So if we were to bring all the meals, that would get us um, would get us there. It's three and a half days to get there. We would need something else to get us back. Okay. And I would probably have to forbid the pemmican so they wouldn't eat it and leave the meals behind us or leave the meals to rot. But let's just say we did that. Now we're at 53 pounds, or kilograms. Yeah. Um, so that is 10. There's three of us, three days. Thereabouts, that, that's probably going to work there. Um, anything else that could be brought with us, we could bring berries that will last for, for 12 days. So there's another route to go. We can eat them. We can even bring insect jelly. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's a potential. Um, I don't know what quantity is considered a meal. The simple meals take 10 foods, so 10 berries. Don't know, if we were to bring, uh, if we were to bring all of them, let's just, wrong one. Let's go back there, and let's go to here. If we were to bring all of them, we're still looking at only 63 um kilograms okay so there's potentially enough food to get there and back let's think of it that way rice potatoes corn seems like corn could be eaten without a raw corn without a uh, negative but i'm gonna just stick to the berries we could even bring some insect jelly just to uh, give us oh let's say 50 and just to give us one more for, uh, source of food that will not rot and is but yeah, has the potential of getting us there and getting us back. Okay, so what else would we bring? So far, we're looking at 65 kilograms. Um, medicines. Um, I assume we would just bring the weapons on our, you know, that we're carrying and the clothes that we're carrying. So no need for anything like that. I don't know. This is why I'm not going to do this. I want you guys to let me know whether or not it's worth bringing anything else to uh, to sell whether or not this kind of a trip is going to be limited to just that scyther blade or whether or not we, you know, is there a good chance we're going to come across traders along the way and we wish we'd brought all the scyther blades and just, you know, find a chance to sell those things off or something like that. Do we want to bring a bunch of silver with us? So lots of questions and one chance to not mess this up because 
if I were to go back and redo this, we wouldn't get this event again. So it's got to be done right this time. Scyther Blades would. So weapons, no need to load any of those in. Um, same with clothes. We have a lot that we would we could sell. So if we were to load in things that, you know, like all the ones with Ds, in case we could sell them. Let's see what kind of weight we're talking about. Got those Ds there. We've got these over here. And is this the best way to do it? Or do you intentionally only bring things that are quite valuable so that the weight that you're bringing is going to bring back the, the, the highest amount of silver to be worth the, the effort and just keep this stuff for traders to come to you? That's kind of what I'm thinking. But otherwise, silver, oh, if we were to add, say, a 1,000 silver to it, now we're looking at only 83 kilograms. Okay. So it gives us room yet to purchase more things. The assumption we're going to be selling some things, including these scyther blades that weigh what each. Right there, they're only four kilograms each. Mm, okay. So I may as well bring a lot of them. Okay. That still gives us about 200, well, about 100 kilograms of, of surplus space. Uh, red. What's the red over here? Unfinished, wooden. Okay. So weight of this item oh this wouldn't fit if we wanted to bring it okay uh, we do have a sculpture though but these are actually not that heavy interesting unfinished wooden grand sculpture is that what grandma went down there to i got, thought i got rid of the grands do we have another grand oh okay and i see that you can even sell your steel slag chunks <laughs> and your limestone chunks really is there a market value on these things um, value, no value. Interesting. I guess I can't even come up with a valuable guess on here. I guess you want to haul limestone chunks from one colony to your, your second colony so you can have some chunks? I, boy, I don't know about that one. So that's all I'm seeing that seems reasonable. You guys give me your thoughts on, on, uh, how this should be dealt with what we can expect to come across and chances of being attacked three people is that enough three people with assault rifles to um to to keep ourselves safe if we are attacked on the way um the more people you bring are the odds higher of a bigger attack i don't know so give me your thoughts on this we're not going to do this today in fact i'm just going to where am I? Well, I don't know. I just had to take a phone call and pause there for a moment. So I think I'm about 20 minutes into this. So let's cancel that and I'll just see if how far into this 15 days we actually go uh, world before you know it gets critical and we have to do something. But as far as I can tell, if we can just get out of here with, say, five days left, then we should be okay as far as timing. Anyway, so I'm not going to do a lot of work in between this episode and the next one i'll i'll try to not let too much time elapse so that I give you guys a chance to uh, get lots of input and we'll we'll try this trip and see how this goes anyway what else is happening around here rabbit we're at 2200 i'm guessing everybody's about to go to bed thomas Lop, yep going to bed handy building steel dining chair it's finally getting done the dining chair excellent with art Candy's Goodwill. Okay, this furniture bears a depiction of a savage cave. There is a district at the left part of the image. There's a district, huh? And the style is sinuous <laughs> with blocky elements. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's that's a Handy's Goodwill. Okay, so that is a stockpile to drop off medicines. And this is powered drug lab? You would think so. Um, don't get the sense of it, though. No wattage or anything. Okay. But, otherwise, Rabbit, you're heading to bed. Everybody else is in bed. Natalia is getting up, doing what? Relaxing socially. Needs. Anybody, pause, anybody going to bed who really should get a meal before they do? Uh, Michael's fine. Miss P's just getting up. Uh, Grandma's okay. Sea Star's just getting up. And, hmm, what are you doing? 
you are hauling. I did set you to hauling just to kind of get caught up with some things. So I think we're fine there. Yeah. What's your run speed? Well, down in here, you're 3.38. Do I have you haul in steel from way over there? Boy, that's a long run. Yeah, such a long trip. You kind of get three or four of them done and the day's over. Did we not get this brought in? Doe missing body parts. We have a predator up here, don't we? What could take down a doe? Because we hauled in all of the does from here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I suppose in less than a day. The chances of getting there... Well, maybe you are left over. Oh, I see. Zero missing body parts. Okay, that's not the case. Um, It's possible. It is. Less than a day. Let's give that a try. Um, sea stars, come out and haul this one for me. And Natalia... Relaxing socially, work. Let's set you up for cooking. Um, where is that? That's right in this area, right there. You're going to cook. And let's get as much of these bugs and everything else turned into... Are we running? We're not. Turned into meat. And then this meat as much as possible. Boy, I wish this heat wave would break. As much as possible, uh, turn into kibble and whatnot. And maybe we can get that deer turned into... Venison. It's all going to spoil in a day, though. Uh, Shantigo, where are you at? Can I get you up and get you working again? Needs food. Let's call this good enough. Come up and grab a meal. Where am I? Right over here. Grab one of these, consume, and then get to work working on the uh, on making meals. I'm hoping, I still haven't confirmed it, we will try that. You spoils in less than a day. You are two quandrums. Hmm, that doesn't help. Because if it takes an average of the two. But I'm hoping that a meal made from meat that's going to spoil in less than a day will turn into a meal that has still got three to four days left over. I'll sit here and, and watch that. Let's just kind of put that one to rest once and for all. Solar flare is still going on. Lasted eight hours. Natalia, you are... Feeding fine meal to Eric. Ah, oh, you're in doctoring mode. Thank you. I forgot all about Eric. Where are you at? You're over here in the dark. Eric needs... Yeah, you're needing it. Okay, Shantigo, you are in this area grabbing a meal and you're cooking. Did you not get the meal? Did you eat that quick? You ate that quick. All right, you made that one. Suppose in four days. Let's do that one more time. And two meals. Suppose in three days. Okay... And three meals spoils in three days. Okay, well, the meat that spoils in one day can be converted into something that can last at least three days. So that is the goal. Oops, I clicked on something. I think I hit the right mouse button. Okay, so that's going on. David just had a talk with Purple, I think. And I didn't get to see it pop up. Yeah, social? No, listen to Klaus. So you must have dropped off a meal. Okay. So, David, you playing horseshoes. Could you talk to him if you wanted to? You could. Okay, so he's ready to be chatted with. Otherwise. Um, so David's up, and David is throwing horseshoes, and he is set for wardening first. Yeah, then you're dropping into construction. I'm guessing most of our repairs are done. And then, after that's all done, well, you're probably just going to be back in here, get more of a jail going. Miss P's over here. And punching out this jail area. Let's throw that wall across. I remember what that's all about. Another cell there. We have granite that's going to stay. Hmm. Just wondering with here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't think we can collapse in here. But it'd be nice, just in case, to go ahead and get at least this one work on granite wall. Just fill in the voids right in here. You don't have to build it. David will get the order to run over here and get that built. And that will lock in a support in the middle of this area. And that's right. There were a few pieces hanging around there. Is that enough? Power conduit. Four out of five. So close. There's more over here somewhere? I mean, they broke a lot of stuff, the bugs. No, you're going for a full load. Okay. David is talking to Purple. Klaus is sleeping. Shantigo's making meals like crazy. Um, let's reload that whole area. Right there. Haul all the rice in. Can you grab any more? No. 
Eric is successfully healed. Great. Then haul, cancel, hold the 75 in instead. Great. And when you're done with that hole in this 75 right there, that reloads you for good. The stove has still got 39 of 50. That should get you through a day. Solar flare is ending. Oh, yes. All right. Let's get this cooler up and running. Power's coming on. There you go. And click over there. Temperature is at 58. Show me 57. Show me 57. 57. All right. We're cooling down again. Oh, it's nice to see all this coming back on. How are the battery's doing anyway? We're good. Okay. Batteries over here are great. Okay. So, what? What a relief when the power comes back on. Just like in real in real life. David is going to go work on something over here. Miss B, you can cancel that. Go back to digging. David, once you get this particular one. Nah, well. Where's steel at? Steel's right there. Sure. Do that one and you'll probably stay and go ahead and get the, the wall built. Okay, so we'll get the wall in there. In that case, we can go ahead and set this whole area to be taken down. That's just the insides. So the wall itself is actually there. Yeah, though I don't need... I do need... Yeah, take them all down. That all goes away. Okay. So, David, when you're done with that one, pop this one out, and that'll be done. And then let's put one more of these in right there, and we've now got a barrier of three again. Okay. So, when you're done taking that apart, give me all the necessary parts to get that built. Okay. Well, that's looking good. This area's done. We've got a support in the middle of all this. I can not worry about that anymore. And that is a pathway. So, let's add this to it. Yep, that way I can get the wall set in there. Okay. Otherwise, what's going on? This is just kind of an episode of just doing stuff. Not going to be... Uh, hopefully, hopefully we're not going to be doing anything amazing. Like uh, more raids or anything. Um, I'm going to leave that there. That's a good place for it. At least that needs to get left somewhere where there's going to be a lot of activity. Where that would be in the future, I don't know. Maybe in this, the main dining room? Could be but somewhere that there will always be somebody around it so that if we do need to use it in an emergency, there's not more than a second or two to get someone to walk over to it and trigger some enemy for, before he does something crazy. Minor break risk. Grandma is making a large sculpture. You went into the dark, ugly area, and that took you down. And I'm thinking you're going to go right back you're sitting in a really nice chair. Nope, you're still there. Let's look at you. Needs. Ooh. Problem. Okay, go get yourself a nice meal and go to bed. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she can recover from that. The meal should get her already in the, in the direction of recovering from that. Let's go through everybody. What do we have going on, good or bad? So Tomislav is on cleaning mode. And let's get this whole place cleaned up one time. I think that would be wise. Even the bedrooms are still full of uh, full of dirt and whatnot. Let's get everybody's joy kind of, or beauty kind of back up to uh, what it needs to be. So, Handy, you are... Did I just see you? No, I see Eric down here. So, Handy is in good shape, and she is just working away. Rabbit, in good shape. So, my hay grass, good. Shantigo, hay grass, we're at 138 right now. Shantigo, you are... You never did get that pistol, did you? What happened there? You were equipped. <laughs> I guess that didn't work, and somebody hauled it away. I'm going to have to get some kind of a weapon on you. Um, nothing over here is going to do any good. Boy, I hate to send you all the way over here. Snipers, yeah, come on and equip this guy again. And then hopefully you'll go right back into making meals. Um... Temperature in here now, I'm seeing 48 degrees, and this stuff is good. Still spoils in one day. Yeah. We're, boy, we'd like to have a, a second um, cook stove going. Do we do that temporarily? Unfortunately, I can't move them. We could get another person just cooking away. Ah, this is the, the cool area, though. This is, well, it's 88 degrees in here. What's it in here? 75 degrees. We're oops. We're closer to this uh, 
this uh, passive cooler. Boy, when's this heat wave going to end? Hopefully it ends this episode. We'll be done with that. Someone just... <laughs> Did I see C-Stars just uh, put a thumbs down at, uh, at Shantigo there? Um, was slighted by C-Stars. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don't know what's up there. Um, anyway, I don't feel like I got through everybody here. Got to Shantigo, who needs a weapon. Now, this still didn't work. What happened there? Did it work? It did work. So you're up and running again. And let's haul this meal in. Do that. Good. And then let's haul that in next. And then haul... Uh, where's a big pile of it? 75. But it won't work. There. We can haul that one. Okay. So you can do all that and get up and running again. This... While that's happening, who's right in this area? Rabbit, you you can do it. You come over here and refuel that. this. Nope, let's do it immediately. Let's try that again. Okay, so while Shantiko is hauling things over to fill in these, Rabbit can have access to the stove and not cause Shantiko to leave the area for good because he didn't have access to his own stove. Okay, that timed out really well. So, who else we got going on? Sangria, you are working with Killer over here and needs... You're in pretty good shape. You're not uh, prioritized into anything. Kathra is sowing daylilies. Um, can we work on something a little more important? Come up here and sow. Yeah, your food's fine. Okay. Natalia, food is hurting. Hurting enough to where I want you to go and get a meal before that drives you down too low through the entire night. Okay, Michael. Making kibble. Hurry up. You're up in this area. So you're making a couple out of bug meat. That's what I needed to see. Got some bug meat right there. It spoils in a day too. Darn. Okay, Miss Peep. Needs. Sleeping. Food's good. Rest. You just got here. Okay, you're fine. Um, Alicia. Cleaning up over here still. Yeah, this gauntlet really needs it. And... In fact, let's keep you from heading over into the uh, the forest area. In fact, we need to get that the uh, that area going again. I pulled all the growing areas out from underneath the trees. Now we'll wait till winter time and do that. That's probably better. Just work on our food right now. Kind of like that idea. Okay, I think she's fine. Um, all of the the traps are out of the home zone. I checked that before I started the episode up again. When I put the dogs and the pigs back into their their zones down and down into here. So that was something I needed to get done. Um, seeing wow, so much construction going on. It's nice to see that. Um, let's finish our tour here. So Alicia's fine. She's not prioritized, so she can go get food when she needs to. Eric, you slept for a long time in the hospital bed, and you just had a meal, and you're down here working away. Good. In fact, you're over there going for more granite blocks to start filling things in. I need somebody to work in granite blocks. Yeah, I've opened up all these doors again, but i got nobody to do it. Um, and I need that food turned into meals and kibble, so I don't dare take Michael away from that. In fact, I need to make sure there's two people working here all the time, and there aren't. Okay, so Grandma, let's... you're in bed, right? Yeah. Who can be doing that? Kathra, I want you sewing. So let's, let's really think this through. Tomislav, let's... Tomislav, do that again character cooking you don't have a passion for it who has a passion for it i could have tomislav do that um but let's see cook right there and now i'm not afraid to do that because i know how to get it back but cooking obviously shantigo grandma has a passion for it michael's got a passion for it klaus does not we used him he's got a skill of six so he can make meals um grandma's got a skill of seven eight oh good michael is even at a six Okay, so we don't need to use Klaus for cooking anymore. We can use his other skills, which are more important. Eric, you can do cooking. You get a thrill out of it, and you're halfway decent. Let's get you in there to make more kibble. Let's turn as much of this into kibble as we can. Um, hmm. And do I get somebody like Grandma making meals out of the meat while Chantigo is sleeping. That might not be a bad idea. To do that, I would need to change the bills, though. I've got them set so only he could do it. Fine meal. She's a six, right? Nor is she an eight. Um, do that again. Work. Grandma. 
cook. She's an eight. Yes, let's do that. So, Grandma, you and Bill's fine meals, details. Hmm, Bill, or what do I need here? I need this. Take you down to an eight. Okay, you can now make those. Everything except for human and insect meat. That's correct. That's correct. Radius, 25. That's more than enough to get up into there and the butcher table. Let's go to just another notch or two, just in case. All right, so that's good. So, Grandma, you work quick, uh, cook, and everything's good. But who else can be doing? So, Eric and Michael are going to be working on kibble. Anybody else? Cathra, I don't want you doing that. Uh, Tomislav, you don't get any passion out of it. Miss P does. Yeah, through the night, you keep making kibble. Yeah, Handy, no. Natalia, there's no more passions down here. Okay, that I think will get us through. Okay, so Eric, let's get you... You're heading where? Oh, you're just filling in these right here, and there's no chance you're going to build yourself into a, a hole, is there? Um, okay, you're butchering. Yep, that's fine. Can you grab a bug? All the bugs are gone. Bugs were here, bugs were there, bugs were here. Okay, they're all gone. All right, so you're going to go up there and butcher. Where'd you go? You're over here. Okay. All right, well, that solves some of that. I haven't got any notices anything's rotted yet, so I'm thinking we're just barely staying ahead of this wave. Tomislav is cleaning things up, and I think let's just continue. In fact, is there any word that you would be beneficial? Sangria's in here doing what? Maybe sewing? Or maybe you're chasing Yummy around, okay. Um, is there dirt in there? Am I seeing something? I'm not. There's dirt, there's blood right there. Grandma's sleeping, let's not bug her. Um, let's just work on, on the dirt over here. Get this area cleaned up. Back from there, come over to here. Okay, and you're sleeping. Alicia's room, actually go straight to Alicia's room where she goes to bed. Get this cleaned up in here. Okay, so we've gone through everybody, I think. I think we got through everyone. Okay. What are we looking like in here? Okay, well we're getting the you know the, the, the basic shape going on here. You are gonna head down into here. Your doors are gonna be in these two spaces. Okay. We've got another duplicate right there. And two more doors, two more um, uh, cells in that space, and then a pathway that comes down this length over here. So that's all looking like it's supposed to, and you guys built yourself in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's make some good use of our uh, of our mining skills here. All right, can you reset? You're not set to mine. You are. There you go. Klaus, you are digging a granite tube. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's RimWorld. Okay, what else going on? David, you are building. Yep, Okay. Although, is there anything else I'd rather have you do? Like bedrooms? Like, hmm, David, let's see your needs. You're right there, your rest is gonna end soon. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth a pathway down the length of this. But if we didn't do that, what would we do? This place is, is ready for someone to move in. Let's smooth this place out. And be nice to get power in here. Um, so what do you think, are we done with bugs for a while or do I need to get them, I know what I need to get them doing. We need some more plasteel turrets on demand and ready to go. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get some built and then we will we will uh, tear them down. In fact, this one, did it get repaired? It got repaired, so we need to uninstall you. But let's get some built and where it's convenient. Let's get them built out here next to the plasteel. That's probably the best. So let's set up, in fact, build a copy. Good. Um, although, I want to know what my quantity is. So we've torn down all of those mechs. We have now 217. So a plasteel security, plasteel turret, improved turret made of plasteel. You're right there. 75. And I said 220 something. So that's, okay, what was it? 217. I need 225 for three of them. So it looks like we can only build two. Okay. And that still leaves a little bit left for another helmet or something. Okay. So let's build two of these guys. And we don't need them powered on. 
though I guess it won't hurt. Well, okay, you're connected to this, and this is not powered on. Okay, that'll work. So build me one there, and build me one there. David, right there, start working on these guys. And yeah, that'll bring the supplies over there to that. Okay, so I'm assuming you're going to go for steel first. Good, because there isn't steel located over here, right? Right. And how do I get somebody to work on these things? Hmm. Klaus, you still up? What you doing? You're digging a grant. Oh, you're trying to dig your way out of there. Okay. Handy, when you get out, you should be able to walk this area and go through. Okay. A um, couple things I want to do up there. And probably another five minutes and I'll shut this down. Okay, you're out. So, Klaus, you're out. Okay. Klaus needs... You're going to need food soon. And purple, you're looking like what? You're in bed and you're fine. Okay. So, Klaus, you, I want you to come up here, grab a meal. Then I want you to come up in here and build this. And then when you're done, build that. Then we'll tear this down afterward. We could tear that down now. Do that. And you were good for a while, right? I can let you do all of this. Yeah. So when you're done with that, then deconstruct these. Now these did not have power in them, right? Or did they? They did. Mm, that cuts down power through here, which isn't critical. Okay. So let's then run power through that and through that. And Klaus, right there, you then can do the power conduit last. Okay, so that is for you. Now, this, I'm pretty sure, is crafting. Let's verify that right now. Alicia, you, could I tell you to do this? Cannot, you're not set for crafting. Okay, so you are on cleaning duty. And do I leave you there a little bit longer? I think through the day, we'll leave you there. Crafting, though, boy, that's in competition. I want this going crafting. Let's turn this off. Um, hmm. It doesn't really hurt to leave it on in case someone does get a free crafting slot to go work on it. The batteries haven't even, you know, been phased by any of this because of this guy. So I'm not going to conserve power there. We'll leave it on. But it's in competition with the block cutting. And we need to get to the block cutting. Blocks are almost gone. I need somebody to go cut blocks. Who could that be? Um, I'll let you guys run in the background. Well, that spooked me. Auto save. Yeah, those long unexpected pauses. <laughs> Bugs appear when that happens. Um, crafting. Who? How? Yeah. Grandma's going to fill in for Shantigo. In fact, does that happen yet? Shantigo, you're in bed, right? Yeah, you're in bed. Grandma, you're up. You are cooking a fine meal. Nice. All right. We're going to... we got two shifts of cooking now. So those two will take over. Heat wave is over. Oh, thank you. We'll take over the two main stoves over here with maybe Michael filling in. Michael? Yeah, he was the six. So maybe the three being long-term cooks where we can just fill this thing with hundreds of meals and have a heat wave and, yeah, and watch them all spoil. Uh-huh. That's the problem with getting too many of anything food-wise built up. But heat waves don't happen that often. It's our first in two and a half years. So that's nah, not that common. Okay. So let's figure out who's going to do some crafting and probably call this episode done. Um... David. Crafting's right there. Zero skill at it. The better the crafting, the faster the blocks will be done. I mean, Natalia could blast through this really quick. So could Handy. There is that to think about. Just assign them to it. Let's think about that. Handy, you are going to bed soon. You're filling in a door there. Okay. So these doors are correct, right? Got no door there. Okay, let's fill that in real fast. Door, I want an auto door. Where's me? Where's me an auto door? Right there. Put you in there and you in there. Whereas you're going to be just a regular granite door. There and there. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, continue. But, um, 20 hundred needs... <clears throat> How many blocks could you pop out of here before time to go to bed, Handy? I'll bet you you can do an awful lot of them. 
as fast as you can run back and forth. Got these doors sitting open again. Now, Natalia, you are butchering. Is that necessary? What is there to do? One bug? Okay, that's it, right? Did the deer get brought in? <clears throat> Bambino. Okay, what is that? It's deer. Okay. The deer's not there anymore. So unless it got dropped off halfway down, it should have been brought in and it should have been turned into meat. Are we at freezing yet? Indoors 43. We're not there, but we will be soon. In which case, all the timers reset to zero essentially everything will be frozen nothing will rot anymore although we've seen simple meals simply rot in here even though it's frozen so i don't know how that works but i'm thinking yeah natalia you run this one after you do that one butcher job where am i at uh, right here you come in here can't natalia this one doesn't have any orders does, oh, stone cutting. Yep, doesn't have any orders. Okay, so I'm going to, after this episode is done, set up bills, get Natalia set up here, see if we can't kick out 500 each real quick of all the different kinds, and then set them on their way. But with that, you guys let me think, or let me know what you think of the world right there. 14 days left to swap out a Scyther Blade for an Orbital Power Beam. And I'll look that up and see what that is. And what you would bring over and right there whom you would bring over how many animals what are the other possibilities for this trip trading and whatnot in which case would you bring even more animals um what do you think of bringing things like berries for food instead of pemmican which we don't have any right now we could set up pemmican I could probably go ahead and get that happening right now, but meals, fine meals. Boy, when, if we were in the other kitchen and we had multiple stoves up and running, that'd be different. Pemmican, though, does it not need to be refrigerated? Could I set Grandma over there right now? Let's let's look at that real quick. Um, get me out of this. Cancel. World. If I were to go over here and... I still have power over here, though. We could do some wood. We could refuel this one, but bills, pemmican, and let's see here, details, needs, meat. Hmm. I'm going to stare at this after the episode's done and go ahead and set up an order to get pemmican being made by somebody over here with the wood stove, just to in preparation for what you're going to tell me about that trip coming up. But... So fill in the blanks for me and let me know what you would do in this situation. And I will catch you after my trip is over. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you later. Bye-bye.